Hi, my name is Lisa, and today we're going to look at how to use a Z table. So I've just written my condensed version of a Z table, but you can use this with any table you find. So this is a follow-up to a video we've done previously, and so just to recap what we did, we have um this is the height of men, and we're trying to see where this person who's 74 inches falls within this distribution. And so right now, let's just solve for the z-score again. So we'll use the equation of z equals x minus mean over standard deviation. And in this case, um, we were given the mean and standard deviation and the um, observation to find the z-score for. So we'll just plug it in. So 74, which is this x, minus 69.5, which is the mean, over 2.5, which is the standard deviation, gives us 1.80 as our z-score. So what the z-score represents is it represents the standard deviations away from the mean that your sample is. So the mean would be in the middle of this distribution and 74 inches would be 1.8 standard deviations above the mean. And it's above because this is positive, not negative, because z-score shows direction too. So now that we have the z-score, we're going to use this value and the table to determine the probability that um, someone would have a height of 74 inches in this population. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to this table, and since it's 1.80, you start with the first number, and you go down the line until you get to 1.8, and then you're going to use this column to do this decimal place. And so in this case, it's 1.80, so you'd go 1.8, then over to 0. So we're going to be using this value. And on the Z table, all of the values within represent probabilities. And in this case, this value is this area of the normal distribution. So the probability that someone will have a height less than 74 inches, because that would be here, would be 0.9641, which would be a 96% chance that someone would have a height less than 74 inches. So that's not what we're trying to solve for. In this equation, we're trying to solve, or in this case, we're trying to solve for this probability, the probability that someone would be 74 inches or taller than that in this population. So we would take this value that we got off the z table and subtract it from 1, because the whole area of the distribution is equal to 1. So we do 1 minus 0 0.9641, and that gives us 0 0.03. Five, nine. So this is the probability that a man at random would be taller than 74 inches in this population. And that is how you use the Z table. Well, one application of it. Um, if you have any questions, comment below and we'll do more videos on other ways to use the Z table.